Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're gonna to take a look at a few products sent to me by the friendly Swede. So the first product I have to show you today is this very cool pack. Yes, I said pack. This is a foldable backpack. This is their 25 liter ultralight backpack. It weighs a mere 240 grams. It's very lightweight, made out of 210D ripstop nylon. So it's gonna be pretty durable. And this works great for just a day pack. Uh, for putting into another pack to have as a secondary backpack. Maybe you want to throw this in your bug out bag so that you have an extra pack to give off to a friend or something like that in a survival situation or just an extra pack that you could take with you at uh, you know uh, your camp and leave your main ruck there and then take this out on a scout with you. The pack also comes with this paracord keychain which has a clipping uh, carabiner on one end, some paracord in the middle, and then of course a key ring to hold your keys. So pretty cool combo there for $14. The second item is one of their Paracord Survival Bracelets. They do make these in a couple different configurations. This one has a scraper slash knife on it, a small ferrocerium rod, of course the Paracord, and then it's got a fishing kit built in with some tinder safety pins, some uh, hooks, some line, and some floats. So we're gonna do a little bit more testing with this today, but pretty cool option for a little mini survival slash fishing kit that you can wear on your wrist. So again, this pack is very cool. Something you could throw into another pack just to have a secondary on you. But even for today, uh, I'm out just doing a day hike and this is all that I brought with me. So let me show you how it works here. You of course have the zipper on the front. You do have a little nylon loop there to be able to hang it. But it just basically unfolds into a full 25 liter backpack, which is very cool some uh, pretty simple shoulder straps, but you don't really need much. It does have the air mesh on the back, has a grab handle up top. The zippered compartment that the whole bag folds out of simply goes on the inside as a little secondary stash pocket, maybe for keys or something like that. And then on the outside, you do have another pocket which zips open and you have these little reflective uh, tabs on it, which is pretty cool. It also has elastic bottle holders on both sides. So all in all, a very cool option for taking with you just on a little day hike if you want a very lightweight option. Like I said, 240 grams, this thing weighs nothing and it is quite a large capacity. You could stuff quite a bit of gear uh, in here and with that 210D nylon, which is also ripstop, it's gonna hold up on you. The pack has nice high quality zippers and nice high quality buckles on the straps and stowing it back into its pocket is very simple. You just take the inside pocket here and flip it inside out and then you just stuff the entire pack back down into that pocket and zip it shut. Just like that, and you've got yourself a nice, portable, very lightweight backpack. So the bag's very comfortable. You barely know you have anything on. I got my water bottle on the side there, and I got a nice large pack for anything I might come across or anything I want to put inside. So this is how the bracelet looks on the wrist. Very easy to get on and off. You just slip the uh, ferrocerium rod through this eye knife. Uh, loop here and then you do have some uh, adjustability there you can loosen it of course and then you can also tighten it back up so it fits pretty good and it's nice to have a bunch of paracord on your wrist as well as a way to start fire and a way to catch some food so let's see what we got inside the bracelet here just popping these little burnt ends out and I can start to unravel the paracord. So I was able to get the bracelet apart here without using any tools and what you're left with is two five foot pieces of paracord which obviously that has 
pretty much endless uses as lashing. You could tie them together and make a, a ridge line. You got a two foot section here. Uh, paracord could also be used as fishing line and all the inner strands, there's just endless uses. So then we got this little eyelet knife here, which has a little scraper here to scrape the ferrocerium rod. And then also a little blade on it. You could use that for scraping tinder. You could probably use it for some small animal processing and just gives you a little blade option there. And it is quite sharp, so I think it would be fairly effective. Of course, you've got your short little ferrocerium rod here, which does work. And then in the plastic here, we've got some fishing line, some floats, some... Uh, little uh, snaps there looks like some little weights and then it looks like some more fishing line and some safety pins so, uh, there's also some hooks in there too so pretty useful little items and a pretty awesome little kit one of the better kits that i've seen in a little bracelet form so i threw all the items of the bracelet in the pack and i'm going to head out and see if i can catch some food and start a fire so i can certainly see fish out there So I just grabbed a really long stick and I'm going to tie some of the fishing line onto the end and use some of the bobbers and hopefully find a worm and try to catch some fish. So I got some fishing line and some hooks. So I tied the fishing line onto the end of about a six foot stick and uh, put the float on there and then tied one of the hooks on and I'm just using a little insect that I found. There's a bunch of little creepy crawly insects so I'm going to see what I can do with that. I'd say there's probably about 15 foot or so of line on here so we'll see what we can do. The trick is going to be getting it out far enough. You can see the float does actually float. And what do you know? It does work. So using a ferrocerium rod this small, you're going to have a loss of control when it comes to striking the uh, the ferrocerium rod. So you're really going to have to have some pretty good tinder. So I grabbed some cedar bark that's pretty dry and some dry pine needles. So I'm hoping I can get it done with that. All right, so let's see what we can do using this small ferrocerium rod here. don't have a whole lot to hold on to here. Let's try the edge, the blade.
So it's definitely hard to control, but you can certainly start a fire using this small ferrule rod and scraper. You just have to have some pretty decent tinder. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video today, taking a look at some items sent to me by the Friendly Suite. I think the backpack is fantastic. It's definitely large enough to pack a bunch of stuff in. It seems durable with that 210D ripstop fabric. It's got a couple pockets, which are great for just stashing and organizing uh, a few things on a day hike or perfect for you know camping or hiking when you wanna leave your ruck at the main camp and then go out on a scout. It's also perfect for a bug out bag, for having an extra bag, again, that you can take out on a scout out or you can hand off to a partner uh, that you're with that may not have a bag so perfect for that uh, it would be nice even though it has the high quality buckles and the high quality zips it'd be nice if it was waterproof it's definitely not waterproof however it's a lot to ask for a $14 bag so I think all in all something that stuffs down that small is pretty fantastic and it seems to work really well the survival bracelet is pretty cool for what it is. It does have some useful items. Now they do have a several different options of their survival bracelets. I got the one with the fire starter and the fishing kit in it, which is perfect for me in Michigan. There's a lot of lakes. And as you can see, I was able to catch a fish. It would be nice if they upgraded some of the equipment in there, maybe some heavier pound test line. I think it was about six or eight pound maybe. I'd probably like, you know, 10 to 12 pound. Uh, the fishing hooks were fine. The weights were fine. The bobbers, you know, probably wouldn't float if you didn't have anything but a really, really light uh, amount of bait on there. If you put any heavier bait, even maybe an earthworm, those bobbers are gonna go right under. So some nicer bobbers would be nice as well. But all in all, pretty cool kit. And I was also able to start a fire with it. So that's cool. It is useful for something that you wear on your wrist. So of course, I'm gonna leave some links up here in the card. If you click on that, you'll be able to find these products on Amazon. I'll also throw some links down in the description where you can find out more about the Friendly Swede as far as the products go and also current pricing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up. Please leave me some comments below. I do try to respond to each and every comment that does come in on my channel. If you're a new subscriber, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button for more videos.